Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of VizRT Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So today I'm really excited to start diving into the TriCaster Now, which is VizRT's cloud version of TriCaster, allowing you to create shows from anywhere with a network connection, saving you time, money, travel, etc. And with pay-as-you-go pricing, so if uh, your organization, say, needs to create a, a video show for like two months out of the year, well, you only have to pay for those two months. Truly the wave of the future when it comes to video production. So I'll be showing today the very basics of how to start up the TriCaster now, and in later videos, I'll be showing how to connect local sources, control devices, and more, so this is a really exciting topic for me. But that's enough babbling. Let me show you how it's done, son. All right, all right, all right. So I'm on my PC desktop here, and let's go ahead and get into this. And I'm just going to give you an overview of how you're going to get started using TriCaster now. So this isn't going to be, you know, going through a, a, a long tutorial on this. It's really just, okay, I got the emails, now what kind of thing. So uh, what's going to end up happening is after you've purchased uh, TriCaster now from a VizRT partner, you're going to get two different emails. This first one is going to be your welcome email, and I won't go through and read all of this for you, but I'll give you some uh, overviews. So uh, step one on here is you're going to need to download the nice DCV client and NDI tools, which you can get from the Launchpad download page. And a note on that is this does need to be running off of a Windows 10 machine, preferably with all of the updates installed on it as well. So that is a prerequisite. Needs to be on Windows 10, okay? Uh, and then once you have everything installed, uh, you'll go through the process of registering it, all that jazz. I won't take you through that because it's boring and that's your personal information. Okay, and then you'll after that, you will get a second email that's going to have a .now file. Now that's going to be the file that you need to launch your iteration of TriCaster Now. Okay, so I'll go ahead and minimize that. And here is my email. Uh, about that, so I have my TriCaster Now file right here, and I can drag that onto my desktop or anywhere on your computer, doesn't matter, because it's just gonna go whoop, to the cloud via the nice DCV client. Uh, now, uh, once you have all of this installed too, yeah, you need to set up your username and password, and also set up multi-factor authentication, uh, like on your uh, smart device, etc. because, you know, this is in the cloud, we wanna make sure it's secure, and secure it is. Okay, so that's another factor here. So let's go ahead and we'll minimize this. And I have my TriCaster Now file on my desktop. I'll go ahead and run that and let's get to work. All right, so we're gonna go and sign in. And when we get there, you see the email address. Just make sure that you're using the same email address uh, that you used to sign up for your TriCaster Now experience. Okay, so cool. Do that, and then of course it's going to ask to enter your one-time code, and that's when you have to go to your multi-factor authentication. So I'm an authenticator app on my iPhone here, and let me grab my code. Do do do. All right, sure. Remember my device. All right, and let's go. Okay, so once you have all that logged in, you're going to get to this page here. So let's give you just a quick little overview of what you got. So uh, the first thing I want to show you in the top left corner. That's what I said, that I'm offline right now because I haven't officially started using my uh, uh, TriCaster Now software. Now, my particular account that I'm using, this is all a, you know, a trial account for me at work, etc. Uh, so I have about two days of credits in here. All right, and as soon as I click on go online, that means I am off and running and starting to use uh, those different credits. Okay. So uh, now, you, of course, you have a more info page, just letting you know where you at, etc. But uh, the nice thing that I really like about the TriCaster uh, Now experience is all of like your updates that are come, you know, uh, uh, software updates for the TriCaster. Those are automatically pushed. So as soon as you go online, they're already going to be on there. Okay. So whenever you're turning off your TriCaster Now, all those updates will be pushed. At, uh, uh, in between your different uh, online sessions. Cool. And uh, again, once you are, are on here, uh, we have uh, options to uh, open up NDI Bridge. So for example, let me go online here. It'll start this up. And uh, NDI Bridge will allow you to uh, bring uh, your different local sources on, on your network up to the uh, TriCaster now. So for example, right here, you'll see 
that and go to NDI Bridge. I'm not going to do that today because I'm going to save that for another tutorial video. Uh, you can also launch live panel as well. Uh, but also keep in mind uh, that you can also send different video formats to TriCaster now, like for example, SRT, for example, uh, to get uh, different video sources up there. Now, this is just another way to switch your shows. So you can use this uh, to complement your hardware infrastructure, etc. So it, it's really up to you how you want to use these. It's a, it's a great way to be able to sh uh, switch the shows remotely without having to go anywhere kind of thing. So, uh, so let's go ahead and fire up TriCaster now and show you what that experience looks like. So you'll see already, I'm already online. All right, so we'll need to keep the TriCaster now window open and then also this nice DCV window open as well, okay? All right, so now we are in a TriCaster Now interface. Cool. All right, now you'll see that I'm currently within a the nice DCV window. So if we go to the top of the screen here, I can go to enter full screen, and then that gives me options. If I have multiple monitors, I can use this as if I had multiple monitors plugged into a hardware version of a TriCaster. But uh, for today, I just kept the one monitor because let's keep this simple. So just go ahead and full screen that, and then it's like, hey, like just we're in a regular old TriCaster. Cool. All right, now from here, you have everything that you would normally have as far as your different options, add-ons, etc. Uh, so let's go ahead and I'm going to start up a, one of these sessions here and just to give you an overview of what we're going to have to play with. All right, so we are now in a blank TriCaster session, and let's just kind of give you a quick overview of what we have available to us. So uh, the TriCaster now gives you eight different inputs. Uh, you also have two DDRs, two graphics bins, your sound bin, audio mixer, etc. Uh, you also have two downstream keyers and four different mix effects to play with. And on the recording side of things, uh, for your mixes, I mean, you have four different mixes that you can send as outputs uh, and then also recording. And then you also have two independent uh, streaming encoders as well. So you can send the, your feed out to whatever destination you want. So pretty awesome. Good ways, uh, good tools to play with to start making some remote productions. All right, so now I want, so that now we're just in here. I'm going to say some of this uh, detailed oriented things like bringing in uh, different feeds, like I mentioned, uh, for other tutorial videos. Just doing a basic overview for today. So uh, let's go ahead and let me show you how to exit this. So we'll just say file and we'll go to exit. Right, and then we'll back up to the main menu, shut down and then shut down TriCaster now, okay? Do, 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 there we go. Okay, so we have that closed. Uh, so that's the nice DCV client, so I'll go ahead and close that. Now we still have the TriCaster Now window open as well, so we need to take that offline as well. Because uh, like I said up here, if you know, I have my 100 credits, you know, about two days, but let's say I just hit exit and walked away and went home for the night, uh, this would still keep that clock ticking and eat away at my credits. So just make sure that you go through here and make sure that this says go offline. And it'll give you instructions here, which is what we just did. So we don't have to worry about that. So we'll go ahead and click go offline. Close all our windows for us. And boom, we are now offline. Hooray! Cool. And then uh, also, if you ever run into any snags uh, for some reason, there is a chat window down here at the bottom. If we open that up, uh, you can get a hold of our customer success team that can help you out and get you back up and running or just try to give, give you some pointers and tips, etc. So, uh, yeah, TriCaster Now is amazing. Uh, we've been playing around with this for quite some time now. A great way, to, uh, another way to switch your different shows. So it if you want to do it on hardware, awesome. If you want to do it in the cloud and not have to travel, even better. Up to you. You know, it's a fantastic way and more ways to create your show uh, from almost anywhere in the world, you know, with a network connection. So pretty awesome. So play around with this. And, of course, have some fun. Woo! Hey, super cool. And again, I'll be showing even more in upcoming videos, so make sure that you subscribe to the VizRT YouTube channel at youtube.com slash VizRT official. And you can find more information about TriCaster Now and other VizRT products and services by contacting your local VizRT partner or visit our website, vizrt.com. 
And you can also get professional training with VizRT products by signing up for Viz University at vizrt.com slash community slash viz dash university. And if you're posting your work using VizRT products on social media, make sure that you tag us using the hashtags VizRT, TriCaster, or 3Play. We love seeing what you're working on. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon for another episode of VizRT Tuesday Tutorials.